The Merciers men's basketball team defeated Lock Haven 95-68 on February 1st at the MAC, as nine different Lakers scored at least seven points in the victory. With the victory, Merciers improves to 14-5 overall and 12-3 in the PSAC. It sits alone in second place, one game behind division-leading IUP. Coach Gary Manchell used his depth as 10 players played at least 10 minutes in the win, and the bench produced 54 points in the victory. Forward Louise Leao, playing his second game since returning from injury, played 20 minutes and scored 11 points. Think, uh, we have 10 guys at least that can really score, can give 15 points, 20 points, 10 points at any, any given night. It's not like last year we, you know, we had to really share the points between me, Hyden, and Sheldon a little bit. So that, I think that's why we've been putting up a lot of points on the, on the board. The Lakers did allow Lock Haven to shoot over 54% from the field in the victory, allowing 29 points to Anthony Baker on 9 of 11 shooting from the field. We need to bring more uh, energy. I think on the second, on the first half, we played uh, to the level of the competition, and we shouldn't do that. We should have just played Mercer's basketball and played defense as we play if it was against IUP, against Gannon, against any other defense. I think that's why guys scored a lot of points. This dunk by Jonathan Winion also brought out a special message from his roommate. Uh, first off, I just want to give a shout out to John. That's a great friend, great friend, my roommate. On January 14th at the MAC, Merciers defeated Slippery Rock 64 to 62. This Saturday, the teams have their rematch at Morrow Fieldhouse on February 4th. Junior Stephen Coleman scored 18 points and grabbed seven rebounds, while Paul Bilbo added 13 and seven boards of his own in the first meeting. Definitely, no. When we had the first game here, we had a tip, tip on our shoulders that they took us out of the NCAA last year. Um, it was a close game here. I think we just need to play strong defense as we did against IUP. I think that was our best defensive game of the year, or the best three years, or of, of the best three years that I've been here. Uh, I think if we just bring it with the same energy, uh, we're doing a pretty good job is counting their, their, their players, and I think we, if we focus on defense, I think we can beat them. The Rock enters Saturday's contest leading the nation in field goal percentage defense and three-point field goal percentage D. They're also second in the nation in rebounding margin, grabbing 11 more rebounds per game than their opponents. A key for Mercyhurst will be the return of Leo. After missing eight full games with a dislocated elbow, the forward has returned to score 26 points in two games last week. It feels definitely great. You know, that's the second comeback of the year. Uh, hopefully I, know I won't have more comebacks this year. But, uh, you know, it's good. It's good to be on the court, helping our, uh, my, my teammates, not just being on the bench, you know, trying to pump them up. And uh, I think it's good. It's good to be out there.